Okay, so the question is, two numbers are selected at random without replacement from the first six positive integers. Okay, so these are our options. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, let x denote the larger of the two numbers obtained. Okay, find the probability distribution of the random variable x and hence find the mean of the distribution. Okay, so our random variable x is what? It is actually the larger of the two numbers selected. Okay, so now x can be different values. x can be equal to 2, right? It is a possibility that the larger of the two numbers is equal to 2. It cannot be equal to 1 ever because if I am selecting two numbers without replacement, one will always be smaller than the other. Right, so 2 is a possibility. Otherwise, our uh, random variable can take value equal to 3 or 4 or 5 or maybe 6. Right, but if my random variable is equal to 2, then it should be the larger of the two, which means that there is only one possible outcome, which is 1 and 2. When I select 1 and 2, only that is the case when 2 will be the larger quantity and that will satisfy my condition of random variable. If instead of this I take 3, then there are two different cases. 1 comma 3 will also do and 2 comma 3 will also do when x is equal to 3. Similarly in case of 4, I will have three different values 1 comma 4, 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 4. So basically one by one our possible values are increasing. Right? So basically our favorable cases for each outcome, each random variable is increasing. So now in next case will be 1 comma 5, 2 comma 5, 3 comma 5 and 4 comma 5. Similarly for 6 it will become 1 comma 6, 2 comma 6, 3 comma 6, 4 comma 6 and 5 comma 6. So these are all possible outcomes. So let us write now the number of favorable outcomes. So number of favorable outcomes for 2 become equal to 1, for 3 it is 2, for 4 it is 3, for 5 it is 4 and for 6 it is equal to 5. So total number of outcomes are how much? Total possible outcomes now after adding gives us the value equal to 15. So if 15 are the total number of outcomes and if I take the first case then favorable outcome is just one which means that my probability of x will have this particular column. First case will have the probability as 1 by 15. Second case will have 2 by 15. Third case will have 3 by 15. Fourth case will have 4 by 15 and similarly last case will have 5 by 15 probability of occurrence. Right? This particular data written in this format becomes our distribution probability distribution right but then there is one more question hence find the mean of the distribution so whenever you have to calculate mean you should remember this particular formula that mean is given by the product of each value xi into p of xi right so what is the outcome xi? xi is equal to 2, right? We'll take summation afterwards. So basically it is summation of pi xi. So it will become 2 into, what is the probability of occurrence of 2? 1 by 15. Then there is what? Then there is 3 as our outcome, but 2 by 15 is the probability or 4 is the outcome, 3 by 15 is the probability or 5 is the outcome, 4 by 15 is the probability or 6 is the outcome and 5 by 15 is the probability. When I say outcome, I basically mean our random variable, value of the random variable. This on simplification will give you uh, 70 by 15, which is roughly equal to 4.66. This is your final answer.